on the third night, I was about to leave the home. So we went out, we started nightclubbing, some shootings happened, this is fair dick, uh, real stuff, uh, fights, all the rest of it. On the third night, I, so the first night, second night, still talking, listening, all bum, but everything is loud. And this is my analysis. And the Malaysian culture, put the religion aside for a second, yeah. is unbelievably majestic and beautiful, mm. kind and respectful and gentle and really, really love their parents. Mm. This, not everyone is like that, but generally that, 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 that they, they bow and kiss yeah. you. The respect is so beautiful. Mm. But I'm wondering, who, who's the one who introduced you to Islam? I mean, the, with this, the whole, the, 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 the whole life that you had, and suddenly you uh, get connected to Islam is quite interesting. It's a funny story. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually really funny. Um, I never knew. I'm 30 something years old, I've never heard about Muslims. Mm. You never heard that? No, in never, Australia? No, never. I never knew about Muslims, I knew the Arabs were Christians. Because I hung around all Lebanese were Christians. I never knew about Muslims, nobody spoke to me, my father or anything mm. like that. I'm a little bit embarrassed to be honest with you. Uh, mm. I felt like I lived in a cave, but I was always on the streets. <laughs> so I was with, always with Arabs, but there was, I never knew they were Muslims. So what happened uh, one day, we were... I was with a, uh, an organization called the Hells Angels. Mm. Oh, the, the more Vikings, more. Yeah. And things didn't go well there, so we defected. And I got in, we got into a little, uh, a little war, as you, you uh, as I can eloquently put it. Mm. Uh, obviously, this war went for for a few years. Mm. Um, but when I defected from there, I made my own gang. Mm. I, you know, I recruited my people and stuff like that. And there was a lot of recruits of Arabs. Mm. We were gangbanging, doing certain things, taking illicit, yeah. so illicit things, drinking and things like that, going out night time. And I'm with this group, but we, you know, shootouts. Yeah. This is, I'm not going to mention names, I'm not going to mention times and things, but there was shootouts, and, yeah. like cowboys and Indians, bullets flying. In modern so, times. Very crazy times, you know, and uh, yeah, I am I'm really blessed to still be alive. But, and every time we did something, we went back home, three o'clock in the morning, and you can see these Arabs, they've all, washed up and put their jubab on and they're sitting in front of me and they started talking about the Islam. I said, what are you guys talking about? Islam. But you, uh, where was that? Where was that? In a home. In a home? Yeah, we went back to the, one of the brothers' oh, homes. Oh. I was their leader, you know, they respected me as their respected yeah. leader. Uh, but I never used that as, no matter where I was a leader, I never used that as my... Privilege? No, I was always first in line. They know that if there was any danger, I wanted to be there for my brothers. So they respected me and I respected them. We went to the home. This is a new crew now. Yeah. I just met them. Yeah. And then you, my crew, yeah. said, Vince, they want to they meet you. Yeah. You're from Perth. Yeah. They're called such and such. They want to know who you are. But let's go, let's go. And the first time we met, we went out there. We got into a lot of trouble. Yeah. Shootings and yeah, very, very, very intriguing night. Yeah. It was crazy. I think they was testing all of us. And then we went back home and they started talking about Islam. They started talking about Ali, my Lord be pleased with him. They started talking about uh, Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And, uh, and then they spoke, and I'm listening, I'm thinking, right? I'm not making anything of it. You know? yeah. Not interested at this time. I'm interested because out of respect to them, but they're talking about their religion now. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. I've got mine, well, you got yours, right? Interesting, yeah. You, uh, yes. you had calf and all that, but all that, but all that, your religion, mine, and stuff like that, right? So. That was the Quran for them, and I didn't know that as surah until later, it was an amazing surah. But so, they're talking, and then they say, oh, I'm listening, okay, yeah, 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 this and that, beautiful. Your religion sounds nice. Yeah. I had no interest in it, yeah. well, I have to change Islam. Yes. But look where Allah granted me that. So they're talking, I'm listening, and I'm enjoying what they're saying about yeah. the Prophet Muhammad, peace and bless him. Make a long story short, my brother, uh, they were talking, and then all of a sudden they started speaking about, I was like this, they started speaking about Jesus Christ, peace and bless him. My radar went up. I said, whoa, 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 I stopped everyone. I said, whoa, 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 stop, 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 wait a minute. First of all, what do you know about Jesus Christ? Oh. I'm Italian, Roman Catholic, Padre of Eeyore, Spirit of Zion, that was Roman Shaitanism. And I'm thinking to myself, I know about Jesus Christ. Yeah. What do you guys know about Jesus Christ? This is my Lord, my God, my yeah. King, my yeah. Prophet, Messenger. What do you do? 
goes, no, 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 Vince, Vince, what are you talking about? We love him, huh? We love Jesus Christ and they told me about the, uh, the, the Virgin Mary, the mm -hmm. birth. I said, Mary, whoa, what do you know about Mother Mary? I started getting defensive, right? Mother, we love her, we honorate her, we hold her in high status. And I was like a little kid watching my favorite cartoon movie. Mm. I couldn't get, I couldn't disconnect. I said, wow, tell me more. And the more they spoke about Jesus Christ, peace and blessing me upon him, the more they spoke, spoke about our beloved, beautiful Mother Mary, Peace sorry. Of course, she's in Jannah, she was guaranteed Jannah, forgive me. Um, I started being, I was very intrigued. I started getting angry. At first. But let me tell you why. Yeah, why? <laughs> I started getting frustrated and angry. Why? Because my mum lied to me. My father lied to me. Obama? The church lied to me. My grandmother, grandfather, everyone lied to me about the Christian faith. It's in the Quran, it's in the Bible. Allah says, I'm not, don't, don't, don't worship, I'm not your Lord. Don't worship me, I'm not your Lord. Allah said, uh, uh, Jesus Christ said, do not worship me, I am not your Lord. This is in the Bible from the tongue of Jesus Christ, peace and blessing upon him. Well, we worship him. Then they, they made us believe that God, uh, 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 Satan, Iblis, carried Jesus Christ for 40 nights through the desert. Now, this is the one that really upset me. And carried him, Jesus Christ, peace and blessing, through the, through the desert and, 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 and did a mirage of trickery of magic. I said, denounce your faith and your legions, denounce your faith with your God, Satan, and give your legions to me and I'll make you king of the world. Castles, gold, everything. Mm. I scratched my head. How do you carry God in your arms? Oh, they, right. How do you want? How do you uh, bribe God when He's got the universe in His hand? So things now started to become contradicting and logic to me. There is a, a famous prayer that the Christians. This is the the most famous prayer. Mm. Apart from the Hail Mary, this is the famous, most famous prayer. And think about this. Let me know what you think. This is a Christian prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Anybody understand the diff uh, what, what's confusing there? Jesus Christ said, Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be thy name, not my name, thy kingdom come, not thy kingdom come, oh. thy will be done. So this is a famous prayer. Plus, when, when Jesus Christ, peace and bless you upon him, uh, uh, performed miracles, he, and he did. Mm -hmm. and, and who's the only one that can bring life, dead into life? A God. A lot. Yeah. Who can, who can uh, cure you or heal you? It's yeah. God. Okay. Who can bring back your eyesight? God. God. So now, by default, the defense of the Christians, yeah. he's God. Except there's a technicality that they overlooked. I didn't. I realized then and then there's more. Oh. Jesus Christ said, in the name of my Father, in the name of my Father and with His will, mm. I heal you from reverence. In the name of my Father and with your will and with His will, I, I bring you back to life. In the name of my Father and with His will, I bring your eyesight back. I kill you. So, Bismillah, with the name of Him. Oh, you see what I'm saying to you? Now things started making sense for me. I said, wow, I started getting angry. I wanted to throw chairs. I couldn't because it wasn't my house. So I stayed calm, but I really was upset. And I thought to myself, why would they lie to us? I mean, in all logic. But when you're a Christian in, in the Catholic Church, and I mean this, it's not about faith. As much as they have that strong belief in Mary, man, but it's not really about faith. And the Christians, if they get offended, forgive me for the sake of Allah. I'm not here to uh, disrespect anyone. I'm here to talk the haq. Yeah. As Allah on the Day of Judgment will question me. That that's what I'm concerned about. But think about this. The Christians, and my mom said it, she converted to Islam. It's all about tradition and culture for them. Yeah. It's all about the system. Yeah. They have to follow the system, yeah. right? Because if you, if, you read the, if you read the Bible, Jesus Christ prayed, in, prayed on, his, on his head. Who prays on their head? Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. 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 Jesus Christ said, "Don't eat pork." Yeah. What religion says not to eat pork? Muslim. Islam. Jesus Christ said, "Don't worship me. I'm not your Lord. Worship only one God." Which religion teaches that? Muslim. And the list is endless. He also said that he says circumcised. All those, all those things. But Jesus Christ uh, relayed 
relate the, the same message as Adam, Noah, Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, yeah. Jacob, Moses, yeah. the same message. and many, many, many other prophets and Moses uh, and, and, and Muhammad Rasulullah So all the same. prophets were the same message, right? including Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ was born to the lost sheep, the lost sheep of Israel. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace and bless me upon him, was brought to the mercy of mankind, so we could be saved. And in the Bible, what that is what Jesus Christ said. There will be another prophet after me. Mm. His name is Ahmed. Muhammad, right? Ahmed, yeah. Muhammad. I don't know the Arabic, I'm not a scholar. But he says, follow him. Because the words he speaks are not his words. Because he was illiterate. They're all words from God. He even said the prophet's coming. And he's the seal of the prophet. There's no more after him. And all the, <coughs> excuse me, all the evidence and all the, the, the miracles and things that were said, even relate to Muhammad Rasulullah. On the third night, I was about to leave the home. So we went out, we started night clubbing, some shootings happened, this is fair dinkum, real stuff, uh, fights, all the rest of it. On the third night, so the first night, second night, still talking, listening, boom, bam, bam, everything is Islam, Ali, the Qurim Ali, the Magnificent, Ali, Allah be pleased with him, all these things. They spoke about Mother Mary and I'm thinking to myself, you know, so when they said to me, we love them, we love Jesus Christ. We follow him. We just don't think he's God. And then Mother Mary, we love her. They started talking about the story. Now these attracted to me because I was Christian. That you talk about the Prophet Muhammad, I'll listen out of respect. But I don't know him. I didn't know him. Peace of respect upon him. But now you talk about Jesus Christ and my Mary. So I I, I I got that in. And what the third night I got up, I said, okay boys, I have to go. With all the group of boys. Now this I, and I closed the door. They opened the door and said, no, wait, how do I become a Muslim? Everybody excited. Mm. I really was convinced. It was, there was nothing that would have taken my conviction of being a, that, that there is only one God. And Jesus Christ was the prophet, messenger, Messiah of God, Christ. No problem at all. I was convinced. And I believed in Muhammad Rasulullah because Jesus Christ, peace and bless me upon him, prophesied, right? So everything made sense. Allah granted me Hidayah at that point. Whether I was intoxicated or not intoxicated, Allah granted me Hidayah. I felt it. I closed the door and I said, how do I become a Muslim? Okay, means Say this. This is the Shia. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Perfect. I've never spoken Arabic, but it came flow. Allah allowed it to stream beautifully from my mouth. Mm. Then the Shia said, which I know now is the Shia, I said, and something, something Ali, right? And I went, say it again. He goes, something, something Ali. And I went, now I started getting embarrassed because what he was saying was shorter than the Shahada. And I got the Shahada right, but I couldn't say that. It just would not come out. I don't know if Allah SWT put the angels wing on me not to talk. Mm. Right? And on the second time I said, say it again, now I'm embarrassed now because in front of the men and I can't memorize a few words. Yeah. And I asked him, say it one more time. So the, the Sunni goes, Sunni goes, bro, what, to the Shia. He goes, what are you doing, bro? He said Shahada, what's wrong with you? That's, that's Shahada. Yeah. And the Shia goes, no, he hasn't, he hasn't finished it. And I'm looking at both of them, two Muslims, not yeah. knowing they're Shia yeah. and Sunni, thinking, what are you guys fighting for? Yeah. He goes, brother, you said Shahada, Allah wait, but that be you. No, no. The Shia goes to me, come back tomorrow, we'll finish it off. <laughs> I, 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 I laugh now, I, I laugh now, I think yeah, yeah, to myself, yeah, yeah. and if something happens, I have a car accident, where's my shahada, right? Yeah. Now is the time. So now I realize Allah didn't want me to say something, something Ali. Allah. So that's my shahada and how I came into the yeah. deen from being shootings and this and that and fights and, and going to three nights listening to them for two, three hours about Islam and I saw some Jesus Christ stories. And Allah granted me shahada. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Yeah. This story is so crazy. <laughs> I really want to have well, a longer story with you. Sure. I think it is, I mean, the, the, the Qadr Allah, probably you should come to Indonesia. Indonesia? And f have the full complete story. Is Indonesia inviting me? Are you inviting me? I'm inviting you. I accept. MashaAllah, <laughs> MashaAllah. I accept, MashaAllah. MashaAllah, luar biasa teman-teman semua ceritanya ini. Ini pasti teman-teman banyak penasaran kan? Setelah after the shahada, Terus kenapa tuh kemudiannya tinggal di uh, apa namanya uh, Kuala Lumpur kemudian sekarang bagaimana kegiatan all the activities that he's doing right now is for Islam Masya Allah it, it is for the next episodes tapi ini luar biasa sekali teman-teman semuanya bahwa ini sependek ini ceritanya aja kayaknya kita tuh kayak penasaran gitu bahwa orang seperti beliau yang punya luxury ternyata diberikan Allah 
tidak yang sangat luar biasa dan nah, teman-teman semuanya beliau juga support kegiatan ini World Quran Hour tentunya juga yang akan diadakan tanggal 22 Ramadan atau 13 April sekitar ya dua bulan depan lah insya Allah jadi teman-teman semua hadiri juga dan acara ini alhamdulillah kita di support oleh Karan Craft dan juga Cordoba Quran Cordoba Indonesia masya Allah saya bisa ketemu sama Vincent Fajar Fokarelli Fokarelli got that right yeah. masya Allah really yeah Fokarelli got that Fokar Fokarelli yeah yeah don't swear eh don't swear so can you say something to Indonesian uh, uh, Indonesian uh, uh, viewers your brothers and sisters your do other hour inshallah inshallah I would be like the shaitan rajim bismillah rahman rahim all praise and glory be to Allah the most gracious the most merciful peace and blessing be on our beloved Prophet Muhammad and his family amin to that assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my beautiful and amazing brothers and sisters in Indonesia much love for all of you for the sake of Allah I leave you with this Allah says I love all my believers if you have love for Allah listen carefully please for the sake of Allah listen carefully if you have love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah says I love all my believers I love all my slaves he didn't say I love you and I don't love you and I hate you he says I love all of you but I love more the ones that are strong the ones that are fearless, the ones that can help the ummah, the, uh, the ones that can help the weak. And I make this strong dua to my Indonesian brothers and lion, uh, brothers and sisters, lions and lionesses, because that's what we are. We are lions in, in, in this jungle. So please listen to me carefully. This is my dua. May Allah grant us the hearts that fear Him, the Creator alone, and not the creation. May Allah love, may Allah make us of the ones that fear Him, the creation, and not the, uh, the Creator, and not the creation and give us hearts that may he love us the most. Amin Ya Rab. Amin. Mashallah. Okay. You, you stay in Kuala Lumpur for seven years now? Six years? Almost six years. Yeah. Uh, you can say some in Malay? Yeah, Terima Kasih Sama Sama. Don't embarrass me. That's <laughs> La, boleh boleh. Boleh so, boleh. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I, I'm embarrassed, I should know more, but you know, I um, I want to, you know, looking after my mum. I'm not making any excuses or anything like that. It's just uh, sometimes people have ad other attributes that they can learn. You know, I'm on a physical uh, learning. If you if you want to teach me something on the computer about uh, files, forget it. <laughs> Forget it. But if you give me a legitimate physical file that you open up and put the files in there Good. and teach me things like that, I'll learn like that. So with the with the with the Malay, Malay, you, is yeah. right? Malay you? Um, I should go to, should go to the school, but every time I've gone to learn Malayu, the teacher had a very strong accent in English, so I couldn't yeah. really understand certain things. Forgive me for being lazy. Make the wife for me. I'll, I'll uh, see what I can do this year to learn. I mean, and Indonesian, right? Indonesian. We, we have almost the same language. Inshallah, inshallah. Yeah, we like to learn the same Aikida. You and I, Indonesia, Malaysia, it was like no boundaries. Yeah. It was like brother and sister and everywhere. I don't, I don't feel like uh, I'm a stranger here. Because no, uh, I just, I, we just met uh, people from Malaysia and then we like brothers and sisters. Yeah, and then, you're very connected. First time I met you right now, my, mashallah, you can share with, you with me. I mean, the. Uh, That's one one beautiful thing I want to say. First of all, going back to the Malaysian and uh, learning Malay, I just want to put something out. So, yeah. you guys speak English here, so you made it very hard to go learn Malay when you speak in English. So I thought it's cool. I don't have to learn. You know, everyone uh, everyone understands each other. But having said that, uh, there is a. I want to say this uh, because I, I I don't know if I ever get a chance to say thank you to to the Malaysian government, to the Malaysian community, especially and Indonesian, but the Indonesian culture. And this is my analysis and the Malaysian culture put the religion aside for a second yeah. is unbelievably majestic and beautiful mm. and kind and respectful and gentle and really really love their parents mm. this not everyone is like that but generally that that, that, that they, they bow and kiss yeah. you the respect is so beautiful mm. when you add the, the Dean with that culture, it's on another level. And Indonesia and Malaysia have shown me that. You are really uh, uh, beautiful people. I really mean that. And I'm very happy to be in this country. This is my home. Whether I get back into Australia or not, this is my home. And I'm with you guys all the way, inshallah. Masha'Allah. Yeah. 
I hope that uh, everything runs well. Meet you to go to Australia. I will meet your daughter. Inshallah. Make dua, please, that uh, my daughter and I unite again. Yeah. And you owe me the story about your uh, your son Giovanni as well. And the Giovanni, next Giovanni, Giovanni, the hero, my hero, Giovanni, my hero. In the, in the next episode of uh, Police, yeah? I'll be happy to. Well, I'll be very honored. Thank I you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Teman-teman semuanya, Masya Allah, ini soal biasa, apa, luar biasa kesempatan ini. Masya Allah, we have a new brother right here. Dan Insya Allah kita akan menanggung juga beliau Indonesia. Dan ternyata sekarang ini kita udah melihat bagaimana rasanya dalam satu akidah, bagaimana ramahnya, uh, apa namanya, indahnya persaudaraan ini. Semoga kita jaga terus dan mudah-mudahan ini akan menjadi satu inspirasi buat teman-teman semuanya. Kalau dirasa ini uh, menginspirasi, silakan di-download, kemudian dipotong-potong, di-share lagi. ya. Share sebanyak-banyaknya, karena ini hidayah, insya Allah. Sampai ketemu lagi di episode berikutnya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.